Hey, what's going on, people? Uh, trying to do a little car chronicles. Um, you know, I've been kind of slacking a little bit. Uh, this this one is kind of uh, serious and near dear to me. Uh, tomorrow, May 9th, uh, is the birthday of my cousin Eugene. Uh, I lost. Uh, my family lost him years ago. Uh, you know, May 9th is birthday. Uh, what's so significant about that is like, it was uh, on my birthday, well, my friends and uh, close family members, uh, well, let's say close friends, I call them family anyway. They uh, gave me a Chicago Bears jersey. I was like, man, number 59. I was thinking about who was number 59 on the Bears. I'm like, who was number 59 on the Bears? Then I thought about it. I'm like, wait a minute. That's Danny Trevathan. But I look on the back and say Eugene. And <laughs> it really got to me because for somebody to take their time to know that somebody's so important to you and they mean so much to you, to give you a jersey with their name on it and knowing you still keep their spirit alive and stuff like that, it's big, you know, it's um, it's very important to me. And, you know, I like to thank uh, my little sister's yes. And, uh, you know, people for putting that together for me. Um, when I'm uh, talking about Eugene, May 9th, he would have been the same age as me, 39. Uh, you know, lost him to stupid idiotic violence man and it wasn't it wasn't a bad guy good father uh, <laughs> good cousin he's my cousin man but it was like we was brothers like you can like it's, it's, it's certain people you you have a kinship to uh, that is that is no bond that's broken you know it's like no matter what he was doing in his life and what I was doing in my life, when we get together, we 14 years old again. <laughs> it was just like, it was magic, man. It's like, that was that was my cuz. Like, he was bigger than me. <laughs> he know that. He was bigger than me, you know that. He was bigger than me, but I was older. And um, I used to always mess with him about that. But it was just like, when we was coming up, man, basketball, um, just running around together, drinking two liters. All, all my people who been around me and Eugene when we was younger, they know we was big on two liter pops. I don't know why. Used to get the pop, hit the top of it, bless it. Everybody that wanted some, we tell them to top, hit the top and bless it. And then we drinking our two liters and stuff. And uh, we used to just go up to Union Park and play basketball, man. And really, uh, really just play together man in, in grammar school and park tournaments and everybody used to be like when we pick up teams and pick up games they'd be like man you got y'all gotta play on different teams man y'all can't play together we to, <laughs> if we played together they knew it was a wrap you know what i'm saying they knew it was over um but this guy is yeah it's kind of tough talking about all this man but I know all our family, man, you know, around this time we get deeply uh, insightful and, uh, you know, emotional about it because his story wasn't written yet, man. His story wasn't written yet, man. He got, he got kids that, that when I look at them, man, I think about him. Lost a daughter. Uh, Cindy. This girl who, you know, he left us with, you know, and his family, you know, you deeply uh, got my heart, man, and I love y'all, you know, you, you family. Um, what gets to me more than ever is I just feel like it was so much more that me and him could have did, so much more that I could have learned even though I'm, I was older and I was a pretty smart dude, he taught me things and I taught him things as well. We, we love 
running ideas off each other. We love singing rap songs together. We love listening to Pac and Biggie. We love uh, when we was on our school trip, we was, <laughs> we was mocking people and having fun and joking and laughing and just just full of life, man. Like, that's who he was. He was, man, it was like, if you could have picked the perfect cousin, that's who Eugene was, man. He was that person. You know, it's like, man, you you couldn't ask for somebody that, that had a bigger heart. You know, it was a gentle giant, man. Like, he could crush you if he wanted to. He didn't. He had a heart. And, you know, to this day, man, I don't know. To this day, man, I tell people every day, um, you know, you you gotta live your life, man. You gotta, you gotta. When I say live your life, don't live it recklessly. Don't live it without purpose. He had a purpose. He wasn't reckless. He had a purpose in what he was trying to do when we lost him. Um, you know, it's 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 never too late to be the person you want to be. It's never too late to to motivate people to, to be who they are. Like, uh, I love them to death, man. It, 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 it hurts to this day to think about it and um, to go through it. I, I'm, I'm more accepting of it now than I was before. Like, it's hard when you talk about a family member and you, you know he could have been so much to, to so many people. And I know he is so much to so many people. And he, is, he inspires me to this day. To this day, he inspires me to be a good father, to be a good brother, to be a good son, to be a good uncle or a good nephew or whoever. Whoever I am to somebody, great friend. Whoever I am to somebody, I just hope you understand that, you know, when you lose somebody close to you, you have to, have to, have to let them know before they're gone, man, that you love them. You have to let them know that you care. Um, I'm, 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 my misunderstanding of everything is you're here if I don't see you you know uh, you know I'll see you the next day I think we take that for granted I think we take these days for granted and we don't sit up and look in the mirror and say man I could not be here today I could not be here tomorrow let me tell the people that I love I love them let me show the people that I love I love them and uh, he was, that was that, he was an amazing dude, man. Um, I love him to this day. I wish he was here with us. I still know all his brothers and sisters feel it all the time when they go through it uh, with this date tomorrow. And uh, I know I'm definitely gonna go through it. I just, I just think sometimes you have to speak stuff, speak about stuff, and you know. Go, go with it, and you'll get a little better. But I'm gonna wear my football jersey tomorrow. Uh, Eugene, I know you hear me, bro. Love you, man. Uh, wish we could still be up here tripping, roasting people, <laughs> having fun, enjoying ourselves, and you know, uh, really, really. Being the man that we're supposed to be for our families, man. Um, I tell anybody right now, if you lost somebody and they were close to you, be that example, be that beacon that says, I'm, even if you, you're at your worst right now, I'm going to change it for the best because I know this person will want me to be better. I know this person will want me to be better. So, uh, just a shout out to my cuz, man. Uh, I love you, bro want you to look on down on your babies. I know you got one with you, man. Uh, look down on the family, man. Give us all your praises, all your, all your good wishes, all the blessings you can. Uh, 
Love you, Jay, man. And uh, I'm going to talk to you, bro. All right. Happy birthday.